so you want to learn how to create these crazy one framer effects inside of after effects they're actually really smooth and really useful then stick around because i'm about to break it down step by step in this tutorial and this effect was inspired by my boy asim so shout out to him but of course i'm gonna put my own twist on it so let's hop right into after effects so i'm in after effects and i got my two scenes right here and this is basically where I'll have the framer and then I'll end it off with a shake or something to stylize it right here. So the first thing we're going to need is an adjustment layer. And this adjustment layer we're going to cut up in three different parts right before the transition right here. So I can cut it up like one, two, just like this. So we have three small adjustment layers. Each of them are one frame long and we'll basically create three different effects in here. So for these framers, I like when they actually make sense. So for example, I have these three frames and for the first one, I'll actually zoom it out a little bit. Second one, zoom it out a little bit more. And then the third one will basically zoom in. So to do that, I'll start off with a wave warp effect and I'll change the wave type to smooth noise. And we can bump up the wave height to like 135 or 140 just like this and then the wave width we can bump it up to like 100 and if you want to keep it vertical then keep the direction at 90 if you want to keep it horizontal then change the direction to zero and you'll have them horizontal like this and that's the look that i'm going for so i'll keep it like this and i'll actually bump up the width a little bit more like this and as you can see we got these black parts right here so to get rid of that i'll add on a motion tile and the motion tile, I'm putting it on top of the wave warp. And then just bump up the wave width to 180 and check mirror edges. Now that's basically gone. And the next effect I'll add on is a levels effect. And I'll just drag down the shadows a little. Yo, sorry to interrupt. I just want to say that I just launched my first After Effects plugin, the VFX kit. And it's going crazy right now. All you guys love it. And we also got a huge buy one get one free sale active on the site. So if you grab the VFX kit, you can add any other preset pack to your card for completely free. So if you never want to run out of effect ideas again and have 150 effects inside one plugin that you can just apply with one click, then make sure to check the first link in the description. But let's get back to the tutorial. Bit like this. Try down the highlights as well so we can get this kind of dark look. Now for the first frame, we're going to keep it like this. Pretty simple. You don't need to do too much. If you want to add a little bit more on, then I would recommend a warp effect and change the uh, warp style to fish eye. And then drag in the bend to like minus 30 or 50, something like this. That's clean. And if you want to style, if you want to style it up a little bit more, I'd go for an add grain, change the viewing mode to final output, and then bump up the intensity to like 1.7, just like that. And you can add a bunch more effects if you feel like it. I'm going to keep it as it is for now. And then I'll duplicate this layer. I'll actually remove the other adjustment layer. For the next one, I'll basically keep the same effects. Uh, I'll add a little bit more on and tweak the settings. So for the wave warp, we can make it a little bit heavier. Just bump up the wave height and drag down the wave width like this. And then for the warp, I'm going to drag it out to like minus 85. And the levels, I want to make it a little bit brighter. Just like this. And then I'm going to add on a minimax effect as well. And I'll change the direction to just horizontal and bump it up to like 20. Just like this. So it will look like this now. Of course, we got to do the last one as well, but I like to do the last one a little bit different. So instead, what I'll do is I'll open up my VFX kit plugin. And in here, I got a bunch of different effects. We actually got 150 effects in here right now that you simply just apply with one click. So if I open up the hits tab right here, we got a bunch of different hits that I like to use. And the one that I'll be using now is the bouncy hit. So I'll just apply it. And the bouncy hit basically looks like this. If I just show what it looks like, it looks like that. And that's the smooth effect, but that's not what I want to use. I just want to use the first frame and we can use it as a framer right here. And this basically contains a minimax, exposure, use saturation, wave warp, warp, another wave warp, and then a transform effect. So it's just a bunch of effects stacked. And I like to use it as the last frame in my framer. Since these ones were kind of horizontal, I'll do this one horizontal as well, just like that. And then I'll just drag down the exposure a little bit that's a little bit too much and if you don't like the shift of colors just delete the hue saturation and i'll just make everything horizontal just like this and for the last frame i also make sure that the warp is set to fish eye and the bend is at positive 76 this time so instead of going out it will basically go in for the last frame right here and we can turn on motion blur and play it through that's a really sick effect if you want to tweak it a little bit more or spice it up a little bit more i'd go for an invert effect and just keep it for one frame like that that looks really good as well 
and then for the scene right here i'll add on a shake and once again open up the vfx kit of course and open up the shakes tab and in here i got a bunch of six shakes we got the glowy wiggle we got the wiggle clean we just got a bunch of trippy shakes up here but if we scroll down we got a bunch of simple shakes as well because who doesn't like simple shakes we got the vertical shakes and the horizontal shakes and just everything that you need basically i'll add on the distort wiggle right here onto my next scene and turn on the motion blur and let's play it all through that's sick but i'll remove the invert because i don't like it for this scene now this fits a lot better in my opinion it just spices everything up now if i hide the adjustment layers it will look like this that's just a lot more boring and if you want you can save these framers as presets just select the adjustment layer go to the effects select all of them and open up animation save animation preset and i'll save it as framer one and then for the next one do the same thing select all of the effects go to animation presets save it as framer two and then of course do the same thing for the last one and i'll name it framer three now what I like about these effects is they're really simple and you can create so many variations of them to make them unique. But that's basically how I would create them. Now go ahead and create your own ones, go crazy with them. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll leave the VFX kit link to the description if you want to go and check it out. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow in the next one.